Hello, everybody. Welcome to Cloudy with a Chance of Memes 2. If the studio can milk this movie for a sequel, so could we. I saw this movie on Redbox one time, and I forgot it, so this is going to be basically the first time I've seen it. I remember nothing about it because I spaced out and started playing games on my phone. If I remember correctly, it feels like Dad Joke the movie. Like, everything is a pun. <laughs> Let's get into this one. Oh my god, it's the Big Bang. <laughs> it's not the Big Bang, it's a statue. Actually, it's a banana. <laughs> ah! This has Dreams vibes in the worst way possible. Yeah, I saw that strawberry and got flashbacks. <laughs> this is another video by a few people. Four people, exactly. No, three people and then a British person. My whole life, I always wanted to be a great inventor, just like my hero. Why are we getting a recap of who he is? Because they have to add a new character to his backstory because this movie was not in the original plan for this series. <laughs> yeah, they're like, what if we added Oh, who is that? Um, Adam from Mythbusters. Adam Savage. Adam Savage, yes. The wonderful world of sus. With your host, Chester V. Oh, there's so many kids. What is he holding? The only non-human character in this movie. Why does this look like we play? The way they're moving and the scene and everything, how static it all is. This is find me. That's exactly what I thought of. Yeah, because it's just the same model, copy and pasted with different skin tones, hair, and shirts. Exactly. Yeah, that is the same exact face. Anyway, this is just recapping the first part of the movie, like the first movie. We just watched it. He made food. Food make big, big go blah. Food go boom. Boom, now he's dead. Or is it? It shows the machine dead, but then the eye just opens like... That's how I wake up every morning. One eye just... In the eight minutes since we saved the world, I've had time to reflect. No, you haven't. I hate sequels that pick up the minute after the last movie stops because it feels like all their like stakes and all the work they went through is just pointless. I think it's fine as long as you actually plan for it to happen. But in this case, because the first movie was like a single package and not supposed to be a really long story, this makes it feel like a really long story. Helicopter? No, you know what that is? That was one of those Nerf footballs that you throw in the backyard. <laughs> You're right. Also, is that a hexagonal shaped rotor? That doesn't work. Is it one of the foam ones that has a massive bite <laughs> taken out of the corner of it for some reason? That's exactly what it is. I want one of those for my set. Someone send one to me. Don't. Yeah, somebody take a bite out of a Nerf dart and send it to June. No, I want you to take a bite out of a Wilson NFL size leather football and send that to me. <laughs> It's just flat. Really? That sound? Yeah, the like the default crowd sound effect that I believe is in iMovie. I think that's literally in iMovie. Did the budget go up or down for this movie? Yes. Okay. <laughs> to assist in the cleanup and containment of the leftovers all over the world, you are going to join me at LiveCore and help us make the world a better place. We're all behind you. Are you guys sure? Actually, most of you are in front of him. That guy with the beard on the right is just me in like 20 years. That's you in five years. That depends on whether I ever find love, Brendan. Sir, I've taken care of everything. The locals have been evacuated. Splendid. And the inventor. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so this hologram is sentient? I thought it was just a projection of him. Like, I thought he was pulling a Tony Stark. This is just weird. What? No, this is like a copy of him that's a hologram. It's like an AI type deal. Okay, like Elon Musk in like five minutes, he's just going to create 50 versions of himself with AI and they're all going to be annoying. It's Palpatine. I also think it undermines the first movie where Flint was both the hero and the villain of the movie in a way because he created his own situation that he had to get out of. I think that was really good writing. This is like the kids movie plot where there's a twist. Well, this is me. Good luck with your new job, guys. Wait, did Brent get out of the chicken? Oh, yeah, you're right. He's in normal clothes. How'd he get out? I really want the scene of him going to the doctor and them sawing the chicken off like a cast. Surgically removes his chicken exterior. <laughs> Just taking the chicken off really slowly. Imagine how sweaty he's been in there. Yeah, he had people sign his chicken like a cast. I'll be your welcome ambassador. Soy latte? Caffeine patches are available 24 hours. Caffeine patches? That's just from Meet the Robinsons. I believe they were the same distributor, at least. But they aren't the same universe. The crossover, we all know we need. No, we, we didn't. We did. We, the, the. No. The crossover, we all know we need. Don't make this a thing. Can we stop having cinematic universes? 
Another science movie with a commentary on capitalism. I didn't see that coming. I think it's become such a trope to critique capitalism in kids' movies that a lot of writers don't realize they're doing it. Yeah, it's becoming a meme the amount of times kids' movies have been like, ooh, it's bad. Like, yeah. The biggest company in the world is actually bad. What? Can we have a kids' movie about an Amazon warehouse? Most entertaining and engaging movie. Ew, all the hexagons on the wall are different. They really just took the OS building from Spy Kids 3 and scaled it up for this entire movie. Everybody get to your hexagons. This is even more hexagonal than that movie. <laughs> your ideas change. What were you welding? Man just made an actual portal gun. He was welding a circle. Yeah, on a circuit. What? This looks like one of those kids' electronics kits. It really does. But he's using a literal welding iron or whatever they're called. Yeah, welding torch. So is the premise of this so far that he's coming up with all these ideas and he has the money for it, but then they're just going to capitalize off his ideas and not really credit him? Why do you think they would show the island at the beginning of the movie and then have him be like our evil plan and then show the invention coming back to life. It's That's what this movie surrounds. Yeah, this is a subplot. God, I wish this subplot wasn't so boring. Invisible coffee table. Ah, Flint. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. He found out how to turn the firmament layer off from our flat earth. He did it. He turned off the projection. Literally just turned off the sun. I'm gonna make like one fan who's a flat earther really happy apparently. His dad was reading Moby Dick. Chapter, Chapter one. one. Call, Call me, me Ishmael. Ishmael. Oh my god. Colors. I would kill him right then and there. If anyone celebrates my birthday like this, I end them. There's a camera. Why is there a camera there? Yeah, it's to record his stomach according to where the lens is pointing. It's a really wide angle lens that has a zoom on it. Also, it just like leaves. Oh yeah, it's gone. Like that, you're never seeing that again. No, it falls out of the building apparently because there's a wall right there. Yeah, it's literally just gone. It went to a different plane of existence. We to release the new LiveCore Food Bar version 8.0. Any food that has a number on it makes me not want to buy it. <laughs> Introducing Pizza 2.0 from Domino's. Pizza to, for Domino's? It sounds like something they do. They pretend they're high tech. It would be the most mid pizza ever. I mean, yeah, it's already the most mid pizza. I feel like Little Caesars could have a number attached to it and I wouldn't think anything of it because it's Little Caesars. I, I don't mind Little Caesars. Here's the thing with Little Caesars is like I can tolerate it, but if I think about it too long, it, it tastes like they took the box the pizza was in and then put the sauce on that. Domino's thin crust is good. If I wasn't like celiac, I'd be able to enjoy this. Yeah, well, that's why you have to eat the food bar 8.0. Wow. Is it gluten, dairy, and pain free? I can't guarantee pain. It is not pain free, but it is gluten and dairy free. Our newest live core thick one that is. What do you think it's going to be? What do you think it's going to be? Uh, definitely not him. No, of course not. Halahaz! For inventing a zero emission car that runs on cute. It runs on cute. What does that mean? It's just a cat always in the car. <laughs> yeah, it's like starving in the car. When you run low on fuel, you just go in there and you pet it. You have to clean out the litter box in your car. <laughs> yeah, that's the gas tank. Look where the gas cap is and look where the trunk is. That cat is just in the trunk. Yeah, it's under the seats right there. The litter box is in the trunk and then the way you refuel your car is you feed it from the gas cap. That would smell so bad all the time. Don't worry about it. Wait, Steve, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. That was the most obvious Wilhelm I think I've ever heard. <laughs> didn't even mix it. They just like dropped it in on their timeline and just left it. That was zero DB like full volume Wilhelm. That was ridiculous. Someone who's smart but still naive. Someone who idolizes me. Where do your hands come from? Based on this, he has like six joints. Perfectly hexagonal fingers. Oh my god. That man can just tighten bolts with his hands. No, no, no. The inside is a circle so it's a nut. You're a nut. And your friends, we, we take the boat. We can go fishing every day. Look at Steve. <laughs> yeah, he, he's there for people like you and children because otherwise you'd be bored out of your mind right now by this conversation. If they have to do that, they should realize this movie is actually boring. But we have to have this touching father-son talk. In the first movie, everything was memorable. I don't remember like the last five bits hardly because they were just like, oh. I'm afraid I have something very important to discuss. 
with you. What aspect ratio is that? Uh, it's, um, hexagon. <laughs> this is like 500 pixels. This is 500 pixels. 500 by six. His actual picture is 16 by nine, but it's just cropped. That's a reasonable answer. Shut up. We don't do that. Why isn't he a hologram right now? It's the hologram on the screen. That's so pointless. Just record a video. You're pointless. With you. They really said Nintendo 3DS. <laughs> no, that, that's a Nintendo 4DS. Yeah, that's why she had to hold it like really firmly straight on so the 3D would work. Otherwise, it would be like all blurry and bad. If they succeed and get to the mainland, they will destroy monuments all around the world. The th reason they're going to the monuments is because they're going to turn into an energon source. You can get energon and you can summon the entire planet of Cybertron from a random Chicago building. It was put there by our ancestors to get Chicago to summon Cybertron. That's the plot of a real movie I spent money to see in theaters, but um... Please don't tell me that is another USB. A BS USB. Oh my God. This is so stupid. They really just reused the worst parts from the first movie. Yeah. It's like, yeah, we want the puns and the USB stick. Yeah, but the thing is, in the first movie, they acknowledged the puns weren't funny. That was part of the, the entire joke in the first movie was that, like, Flint is not a funny guy. He's just awkward. I would love Earl to be in this movie. It's just this nothing happening in this movie feels organic. So railroaded. We got all the characters. Let's move on. Why? Wow. <laughs> Please run into the dock. Please just crash right into the dock. Take every boat with you. Flint, if you're going home, so am I. I'm glad the boat has tires. That way, when you roll it onto land, it'll roll. Exactly. It's for when you get a flat. When you get a flat, what part of the boat is going to be flat? The hull. That's how the Titanic sunk. One of the tires was flat. Didn't you read Titanic? You know that movie? The hit audiobook, Titanic? I can't wait for the narrator to describe the boat sinking. Starring Leonardo da Vinci. But other than that, it looks like a perfectly normal, fresh, delicious straw. It looks like the aliens from Chicken Little. Just the spacing of the eyes and everything. Yeah, if you turn it over, it's just one of those. If you guys want us to watch Chicken Little, let us know. Because I actually love that movie. Mm -hmm. ah! Did it just say uwu? Did it just uwu? It sounds like uwu, but it's not. That, that is just uwu. It's n-wu. E-n-w-o-o, according to the captions that we do not have turned on right now. I don't care. That's a, that thing said uwu. The uwu plant has lost living privileges in my book. Put it <laughs> down. Look at him. Oh! I want a one hour loop of that. Somebody audio stretch Flint screaming. Yes, there you go. <laughs> no! Do strawberries poop? No. They do in this movie later on. What? 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 We better get a move on before we run into any more of these creatures. Yep, there it is. They're all gonna pog. Ooh, ooh, and pog in this movie. I hate it. Why are there hippos? What is that? Why do you have teeth? Oh, I hate <laughs> Why is the pointy side of the teeth facing the other way? What? Is that a green onion brontosaurus? <laughs> it's enough to make a grown man cry, but not this man. Get back in there, Tia. I remember that being the only line people quote from this movie ever. This is like looks cool and stuff, but there's no attachment to it. It's just so obvious that everything in this movie was just like taped on. I hate to think of the amount of puns that got cut out of the script. Um, I don't think any of them got cut out. I think they just let everything happen. There's a leak in the boat! Uh, That is the only part of this movie I quote. It would be fine if that was like one of the three puns that were made in this movie. Yeah, if that was the only one, but you just made 65 puns in a row. Hey guys, down this alley. Uh, oh no, dead end. That was funny. Yeah, it is, but. <laughs> also, Swallow Falls alleys, building quality alleys since 1970. Do you do know that alleys are a lack of buildings? What they do is they put like the dumpsters and the random trash and like <laughs> needles on the ground. You know, they decorate it all nice. Namaste. Hector B, you're, you're here. The 
That's right, young Lockwood. I said, this guy gives me the vibe that he has like a katana over his bed. Yeah, but it's a holographic katana. <laughs> he doesn't even own the katana. It's just fake. It's an NFT katana. That's holograms. Don't say those words together. That hurts so bad. Oh boy, holographic meatloaf. My anime girl mouse pad doubles as an NFT. Get on my level. I think it's the worst thing you've ever said. <laughs> it is. Step away from the berry, madam. <laughs> That orange hairy lady scared the jam out of him. You know the feeling I got where I smelled your fish soup? I basically have the exact same emotional feeling watching this as I did smelling your fish soup. Well, good thing we're almost halfway through the movie already. We're only halfway through the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Tim's boat? He named his boat Tim's boat. <laughs> I would name my boat Tim's boat. Brendan's boat. Wait, no. It's your boat? No, 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 no. Just Tim. Tim's boat. I know a place where I can get some to eat. Oh, wow. That caterpillar on his face is angry. <laughs> Are you okay, dude? No. You were... Ah! You want to know what I want to know? Why is his thumb that long? Who's that guy on TikTok who, like, sticks out his thumb and it goes out? Oh, no! No, I hate that guy. I hate that guy. Remember the ancient Chinese proverb. Ah, Gwen Kedosha will continue to. Stew offered by a bully is poisoned broth. No, I wish you wouldn't have translated it. I wish you would have just kept it. <laughs> he just never explains it. Just like traditional Mandarin and then just never, ever, ever translate it. That's so much funnier. You guys are going to love The Master of Disguise when we watch that movie in about two weeks. Make sure you're subscribed for that. It's killer. Killers do. No! See, we thought it was the bananas that were going to split them, but really, it's the scientists. Shut. Notice how I'm saying the scientist because I can't remember his name. Wait, yeah, what is his name? <laughs> we'll never know. <laughs> Hold on. We're like almost an hour and a half in and I have no idea what his name is. I actually can't remember. It's like something V. Dr. V, maybe? Whoa. Where did this bioluminescent monkey just appear from? Um, masking transition. Oh, oh, oh. You can see it just pop in. Yeah, because look under. You can see the frame where she's supposed to be there under his neck and she's not. Look at his back, how it's a really sharp edge instead of being blurry like it should be because he's out of focus. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, guys, we're here. Hey, 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 hey. That is not for you. All right, let's get to it. I love this. It's such a different vibe than the rest of the movie. This is what the first movie feels like. Like, this is something that that movie would have done. It's called Vision. Oh. Yeah, they, they all snap to it like cows looking at wheat. And then now they suddenly know how to fish and play harmonica. Yeah, all that air that they have. No, no, even more than the air. They don't have lips to play a harmonica. <laughs> That's why he's just biting it. Well, that light still... Bren, I hate that you can make that face with your body. Taco Dial Supreme. Holy guacamole! Jude, it's a Supreme. It's Supreme because it's a Taco Bell taco, apparently. Oh my god, Nachos Bell Grande! If you make another pun, I'm gonna buy you a Supreme fanny pack that I'm gonna force you to wear in every video around your chest. Oh, I will. I'll do it. Keep soup in it and you just... No, you just keep like a bunch of Cheez-Its in it. Yeah! That's more Bren's style is to keep Cheez-Its and crap in there randomly. Yeah, but it's not even like in a bag. It's just in the fanny pack with all the dust and hair. Oh, uh, you're not even gonna put like a coffee pot liner in there to keep it all clean. Oh, it wasn't being harmful. It was just being protective. I've never heard this bit in a movie before. <laughs> now you get the plot of the movie. Not only does this movie discuss capitalism, but now he's discussing animal cruelty. We're being mean to the food. I will eat it. The first word that came to mind while watching this is plastic. Just the word plastic. This entire movie. Butter. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that was good. <laughs> the only good bit in the whole movie. Butter. What it just melt? Now you're acting weird. I'm in no mood for this. I've never seen this trope in a movie before. It's right behind me, isn't it? Yeah, when like the monster very well could have killed them while they were standing there and talking like an idiot. <laughs> I feel like I've seen this exact scene in another movie, but I don't know. Hold on. It's the Jurassic World thing that where he's like. 
And then the dinosaurs are like, oh God, his hands out. I better stop killing people. This is like one of those Burger King burgers where they mash every ingredient from their entire restaurant into one burger and then wonder why people have like diseases. Okay, here's the dumb part of the movie. Well, I mean, <laughs> the whole movie's dumb, but here's like the worst thing in this movie, in my opinion. No, it appears she doesn't like Libcor. The food creatures know something. We do not. Oh, it's evil. <laughs> it's an anagram. Not really. It's just backwards. But <laughs> Magnificent. I think this looks cool, but they're probably going to ruin it by saying exactly what we're seeing on screen in just a second here. Yeah, they're going to be like, wow, it's a cave full of colorful crystals that my laser is pointing towards. Every single astrology girl saw this scene and like died instantly. Those are my crystals, bro. <gasps> Look how, look how cute they are! It's because they're just a squishmallow, Bren. Like, literally just a squishmallow. But look at their little faces! They are also the period underscore period face in the best way possible. Except they're all smiling. You hold them over the fire and they scream. <laughs> what? I want to microwave one of them. Sam was right. Actually, I'm not doing a good thing. Wow. Morality. <laughs> So you had all of this equipment here to steal the flint of Mafur. But he needed Flynn to find it because he couldn't find it. He had a mechanical arm set up above. There was a storm that told you where it was. It's on the island. But he needed Flynn to find it, Jude. Flint is so irrelevant to this entire plot. Yeah, just like he is irrelevant to the writers who needed to make another movie somehow. And needed to make Flint suck in this movie for some reason. It's the cars too of the cloudy the chance of evil. That was be if Brent became a U.S. government spy for no reason. Yeah, but Flint became annoying at least, so we have that half. Brent is just Boris Johnson. I don't know. This is the really dumb epiphany number two. And food comes out the bottom. It's saying that I'm in Woo. Flint was en Woo the entire time. <sighs> I can't believe Enwu is real. So are you telling me that all of these food creatures know and have been waiting for him to come back? He's God to them. The only reason they're aggressive is because they have the Live Corp backpacks on. They came here to help. We all did. It's time to let us. <laughs> No! Oh my god! This is stupid. Could anything in this movie not be a pun? I could cast you up into that unfinished part of the factory. Should be a piece of cake. Hmm? Stop. Stop with the puns. See, giant fishing rod? <laughs> That's gonna fling him away. That is their idea. Oh, and then they have to have the happy montage of him going to kill the guy who's bad or whatever. Yeah, I don't know what's up with like this millennial music they're playing over this montage. It sounds like the Verbo vacation service commercial music. Sandy beaches, save money with Verbo. Rather die than hear one of their ads again. Yeah, that was the like big moment for the dad there. That's why they had him teaching those cucumbers how to fish. You know what? The big moment for dad was when he learned how to use a computer mouse. See, that was so much funnier than him swinging a fishing rod around and then flinging his son on a rocket into the sky. That was his peak. He peaked at learning how to use a computer mouse. That sequence of him like spinning it lasted like a full minute for some reason. Computer mouse? Mechanical fishing rod sending his son into the sky? Huh. Chester, let them go. Oh, don't worry, Lockwood. I'll let them go. Right into my super size food bar machine. This is so confusing convenient for him that he tied them all up in a ball and there's a giant like meat grinder under where he can drop them. I'm sorry. All I pictured when they got hung over that was the like video of the cow getting stretched around and it's like vegans be warned or whatever. I love that video so much. Food bar version 8.0. I never should have believed in you. Yes, that was quite foolish. Food bar 8 looks too intense for me. It's version 8. He had the patch it. So he wanted the so he could capitalize on the food creation process and make a lot of money. Wow. You could just do what like the actual food companies do and just like take control of a country and economically and then you can basically do the same exact thing. Well, no, what he did was he took control of an entire island. That's weak. Do an entire country next time. You're right. Hand over the Flitz defuminer. There's nowhere to go. That 
That's what you think. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before you reveal it, the assistant coming to stop him. And then she'll say some cheesy crap like, I'm tired of you picking on me. I'm an ape, not a monkey. Save me, monkey. I'm an ape. I wasn't going to say anything because I wanted just it to happen. <laughs> I don't think there's anything left in this movie to care about. He plugs it back into the water and everything comes back. Wow, so cool. Anyways. <laughs> This movie has its place on the punchability scale. The movie itself. The entire movie. That hurt. Why would you ruin my childhood like that? That was the movie of all time. It happened and I watched it. There sure was writing and the plot and characters. I, I don't have words for this. Well, you know what words I have right now? If the audience likes this video, they should watch our last video, which is also about food. Jude and Bren tried to make soup out of anything they could find. He sure did try. Some of them turned out pretty good. One. You made one good soup. Just don't forget to like and sus. That means subscribe. Have a day.